love in the industry. Like, you could really buy these niggas loyalty. I'm Brim. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hat girl. I've been checking Brim since I was fucking 16. And I took an oath when I was 16. And loyalty means so much to me. And loyalty should mean so much to anybody. Because let's say if the devil, let's say if the devil comes to you, right? And so you, I'll give you a hundred million dollars. But I want you to turn your back on God. Would you turn your back on God or would you take that hundred million? Me personally, I would turn that hundred million because loyalty to my God, loyalty to my people, loyalty is so important to me. But evidently, it's not loyal. Ain't no loyalty to these niggas. These niggas, a bitch with a bigger clout, a nigga with a bigger clout bump through your way and they dick get hard or they pussy get wet like this industry that i'm in is so fake it's so whack and it's so hard for me to adapt to because i'm not used to this shit my nigga i'm not used to this i'm used to leaving i'm used to living my life under an oath like i've been living under oath ever since i was 16 i've been living under laws on my fine nine brim laws on laws of life since I was a youngin'. So when people do funny shit to me, it's either I eliminate them or my heart gets broken. And it, it breaks my heart because for a long time, nobody did some unloyal shit. And I see I people in a lot of unloyal shit. This shit is wild whack to me. Like, I really hate this industry. Like, I hate this industry so much, but I got to fight it and I got to deal with it because I want to show these niggas my talent. If y'all niggas search my high school, or if y'all ask anybody that I went to high school with, they will tell you, like, I always been a bitch that been into music. My The high school I went to was called Renaissance High School for Music, Theater, and Technology. I always been in that shit. People think that it's new to me, but it was never new to me. It's just some certain shit that you never really talked about. Like, people only know 15% of me. People don't really know the real me. Like, a lot of people, a lot of my followers don't know that I've been jacking from since I was 16. A lot of niggas they don't, don't know that I went to school for music. A lot of people don't know a lot of shit from me. Like, nothing at all. Cause people think I'm... People think I'm just very out there, but I'm really not. I'm actually very low-key. That's what comes. I'm very low-key because I'm a Libra. You know what I'm saying? And it's so whack. Like, like now that I'm here, now that I'm considered a musician, it's so crazy how these bitches and these niggas that I looked up to, they trying to crush my mic. And these are people that I used to look up to, li used to listen to their record, used to be like, damn, I wish I could make a song with him and, sh and her. Damn, I wish I could make a song with her. I wish I could make a song with him. Yo, they, they album is so fire. It's the same people that now that I'm in the industry, is dead ass try to crush my mic. And that's some whack shit, my nigga. That's some real whack shit. Like, I'm so, I'm so highly disappointed and hurt. I'm so hurt that the niggas that you fucking lay down with, they they not even the niggas that you could even talk to. They the niggas, they your ops, my nigga. Everybody in this industry is an op. They only looking out for themselves. They not looking out for you I'm or sorry. nobody. Yeah, I'm gonna lie, bro. Are you, are you venting? Yeah, I'm venting, bro. I'm fucking drunk as yeah, shit. Hi. hi, people. I really hate this shit, yo. I really, really do. Like, a bitch like me, I was happier when I was macking in the hood. Like, this shit right here is so fake. And you want to know something? When I used to be a regular bitch on the Bronx, a hood bitch, when somebody used to be fake to me, it was cool because I could approach a bitch and punch her right in her closure. Or, like, if a nigga had beef with me, I could send my niggas and pop them. But now that I'm in the industry, you, you don't work like that. You just got to, like, fucking... Watch it go, watch it go. Like you gotta see people play you and you just, just say nothing, say nothing like a dick. And that shit is so whack, my nigga. Like that shit really be breaking my heart cause the people, the idols, your idols dead ass become rivals. And that shit is so whack because it's like, damn my nigga, why the fuck it gotta be like that, my nigga? That shit is some whack shit, my nigga. Like bitch. I used to look up to I used to look up to you, bitch. Damn nigga, I used to look up to you, but y'all some whack ass niggas. All y'all niggas is whack. All y'all niggas is fucking. Y'all niggas is like fake. 
That niggas ain't about that life. That niggas ain't real. That niggas is some whack niggas, bro. That niggas, that niggas went through the same struggle as me and acted like y'all didn't. That shit is whack, my nigga. I hate that shit. I really hate this fucking fake ass life. Like, I'm grateful to, you know, experience all of this. But then again, nah. I mean, that's what happens with success, though, man. Fuck success, my nigga. I'd rather have no success but have real niggas around me. Yeah. I mean, I still got real niggas around me. My primes are still real to me. But, like, these people that be coming to me, my nigga, and sucking my dick, they mad fake. All these niggas that want to fuck me, all these bitches that want to hee ha ha with me. I never was doing that when I was a stripper. So get the fuck out my face with that shit, my nigga. Everybody want to suck my dick now because I'm I'm a fake ass somebody. And everybody be like, oh yeah, Cardi, I love you, I fuck with you. But y'all dead ass wishing my fucking mic was crushed. But it's not going to happen.